welcome to our last episode of the Amazing Race, St. Petersburg. Let's catch up with our contestants and see how they think they did in this year's challenge. So, Stefan, what do you think makes a good manager? In my eyes, a good manager is someone who's willing to take risks and willing to look out for his team. Because if you can't work in a team, you really can't do anything as a manager. Because as you've seen in this um, challenge, we had to work in teams and we had to communicate with our team. So really, like, giving away some power as a manager is, I feel like, the most important, along with being strong mentally. Staying on top of his or her game, um, just making sure your business is doing correctly and exceeding and just, you know, taking it to the next level. I think that a good manager knows how to use their power effectively and uh, demonstrate good leadership and really be able to solve any problem that's given to them. It makes a really great manager is one that can kind of point out social loafing, uh, you know, those who feel as if the rest of the group is going to carry, you know, the weight of, of another person, uh, you know, who's the weak link in the group. Typically when you get a big group, you know, like five or six, you'll get somebody that kind of slacks off and doesn't, you know, do what they need to do. What's the biggest lesson you learned in this year's competition? Uh, really, I'd say maybe uh, maybe gender focus, you know. I was talking a lot of smack in the first episode about how the other team had a girl on it, but, you know, I saw a lot of things on there. You know, uh, you know, gender focus is typically things like masculine or feminine traits and, you know, maybe what they're best at. You know, uh, having a girl on the team really brought them a, a dimension that David and I didn't have, and, you know, we lost... We lost one of the challenges because of that. So I think, uh, you know, gender focus here, you know, having a girl and a guy on a team maybe isn't the worst thing. I think I learned a lot about individual values and belie your personal beliefs. And then there's motivations that you have to take into account. Because one, when one person is not motivated, you pretty much fail. And this comes down to intuitive decision making, which you have to make a lot of quick decisions. And you have to act on your gut instinct as a manager and in this competition. I learned a lot about intra-group conflicts and intergroup conflicts. You know, Riley and I, we kind of slipped up the last episode at the Dolly, but, you know, we learned how to bounce back from it. And I know Stefan and Alexa, they had their differences in one episode, and it's all about just working together and working through any sort of issue you have and putting it together for the challenge, hopefully winning a million dollars. Well, in this year's competition, I learned to bust through any type of barriers that, you know, came across to me. You know, I learned that it's, there's no glass ceiling, especially with us women. You know, men sometimes like to put us down and think that we can't do anything because we are women. And I've proved my place since I'm the only woman in this particular competition. So, David, if you guys win, what's life like after the amazing race? Pizza. I'm basically going to be living out of pizza boxes. I'm going to gain a lot of weight. But I'm going to be even good. Life will be the exact same, except now I'll be the owner of a pizza place and uh, half a million dollars. You know, obviously I'm splitting the money with my partner. And uh, you know what? The name of the game is money. Start our business with cost efficiently and put the rest in the savings. Maybe invest in something, make a little money back. You know, it's all about finance and making money out in this world. Me and my partner, we plan to start the Lexus Closet business, and we really want to invest a lot into that. And we definitely want to go um, celebrate. We want to go overseas and enjoy it. You know, pop some bottles. Well, invite me wherever you guys go. <laughs> well, after the amazing race, me and Stefan are going to split the money in half. We're going to start our business and take out some of these heavy competitors like Macy's, Dillard's, and all the other greats. Mm -hmm. Alexa, why do you think your team should win? Well, I believe that my team should win because we've been the most consistent group here. Um, also, we played off each other's vibes. We really, you know, kept ourselves together. The other team just felt like they fell apart. So, mm -hmm. And Stefan, why do you think you guys should win? We definitely worked harder, I would say. We worked smarter. We worked efficient. And, I mean, who wants another pizza shop? Who, want, who doesn't want a cool clothing brand? We know. <laughs> Riley, why do you think your guys should, you guys should win? Who wants another clothing store? I mean, dude, come on, I can, I can go anyways, because the world needs more pizza. But no, I, I mean, you guys are nice and all and cool, but I mean, we're a better team, what can I say? We look better, we smell better, I just got some new cologne. 
can cook better. So, I mean, what else do you want? Thanks, Riley. And David, um, why, do you, why do you think you guys should like that? Just check out social media, Big Tony's Pizza. Hashtag Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find us. We're the best. Well, class, now it's time for you to decide. Go on your Kahoot.it website with the code we'll be providing right now and vote for who you think should win. Ready, set, vote!